Hey everybody, I'm Danny Rabin, guitarist for Marvin, and uh, this lesson is about scales and what to play over what, what notes fit over what chords. Uh, there's a lot of confusion on that subject, and I've been talking to a lot of people who have been watching these lessons, and everybody seems to want me to do one about the notes I play and how they fit on chords. Now, I come from a school of thought that I know some other players you know, agree with. And according to our school of thought, there are only seven scales. Now, theorists are going to dispute it. People are going to say there's millions of scales. But, uh, you know, first you have to define what a scale is. So here's, the, here's my definition, which uh, I think some of you will agree with. A scale is a sequence of notes that's cyclical by the octave, meaning if I play it from C to C, that sequence of notes is going to repeat itself identically every one octave. Um, also, it doesn't have two half steps in a row, and that makes it makes your scales less dissonant. And following rule number one and two, you have to cram as many notes as you can inside the octave. That's rule number three. So basically, if you avoid having consecu two consecutive half steps, meaning like no B, C, C sharp, it's, and you stick as much notes as you can in each octave, you will arrive at seven scales. There are only seven scales. Um, four of them are diatonic scales. First one, obviously the major scale, we all know it. And that one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? If you don't know what these numbers mean, maybe you should like look up in a book how to, you know, but but you know, that's that's something that I'm not gonna get into. Uh, but that's that that's the first scale. Now the major scale, I'm gonna play them all in C. This uh, the major scale has seven modes. It has seven notes. A mode is kinda like you know, the perspective of, you know, any of the notes in the scale being the tonic center. So obviously you can look at it from seven perspectives. Uh, now, knowing scales is a lot like knowing the alphabet. You know, it's like, if you know the alphabet, you can't, it doesn't mean you know English, but it's a good start. Um, so you have to do a lot of things, you know, learn a lot of things in it. But that's the first scale, major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, second scale is melodic minor. Uh, this is one, two, flat three, four, five, six, seven. The third scale is harmonic minor. That's one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, seven. So um, this one's also super handy. The next one I don't use a lot, but some people like Michael Brecker, Alan Holdsworth use it all the time. It's harmonic major. That's one, two, three, four, five, flat six, seven. So it uh, has kind of an exotic sound. Now, these are the four diatonic scales. Uh, each one of them has seven modes. Diatonic scales give you everything you need to play over chord changes because they give you uh, all the possibilities for any type of one, three, five, and seven. You know, so all the possible chord tones, you know, for dominant, diminished chords, uh, you know, half diminished chords, different types of you know major sevens with a sharp five or the flat five uh, and then all the possibilities of uh, of the three tensions with those scale types and each one is unique each one has its own unique signature you know a lot of them are just one note apart but that one note is you know a different color altogether so to review that we have the major scale seven modes for that we have the melodic minor seven modes for that we have the harmonic minor, seven modes for that, and the harmonic major. Now, we have three, that, those are four scales, and now we have three symmetrical scales. The first of which is uh, the whole tone, which is basically just whole steps. So, you know, everybody. 
everybody knows that sound. And um, after that one, we have the diminished scale, which has two modes. It's not completely, it's symmetrical. It's basically um, an eight note scale that goes like this. And over diminished chords, you would start it with uh, basically what they call whole half. Over dominant chords, you'd start it with half whole. Um, the last one is the augmented scale. I know Holtworth uses it a bunch, and that's just uh, minor thirds, a major third apart. And it's a six note scale, it goes like this. So I'm gonna do more lessons about how to use these modes, what fits over what, but this lesson is just kind of a general thing to understand that if you work things systematically and you're practicing well, um, all you have to really do is work out these seven scales in 12 keys and become fluent with that. And that's a very good start to being able to solo, you know, to choose the right notes over the right chords. And, you know, you train your fingers to move within those, you know, different alphabets. You know, it's like, um, just like the same way grammar works, you know, it's like you need to know your ABCs before you become an author, you know. So uh, it's not everything, but it's definitely a start.